Hello everybody, I'm Minoru Uehara at the University of Japan. On behalf of authors, I talk about functional model of a uh, smart bees bracelet. Uh, this is a paper of NCSS workshop. This is the outline of my talk. First, I talk about backgrounds and objectives. Next, I introduce related works. For example, some smart bracelets, and mist architecture, and metabolic architecture. Next, we propose our system, smart bees bracelet. Then, I talk about functional model of smart bees bracelet in detail. And we evaluate the uh, functional models, and then finally uh, we conclude. Here, I talk about the background of this research. Uh, as you know, aging is a, a serious problem in developed countries such as Japan. Uh, one of the problems is the uh, lack of caregivers. So, we need a way to manage the health of the uh, elderly without a caregiver or with a few caregivers. Uh, currently, uh, wear, wearable devices are used for health care. Uh, many e health uh, services are offered. However, uh, conventional wearable devices are not suited for uh, elders. Elderly people who do not use smartphones much. Uh, it is uh, desirable that the uh, elderly wear it uh, habitually without any uh, resistance. Uh, there are large individual differences uh, in the health status of the elderly. It needs to be customizable for each individual. Here we mention the uh, objectives. Uh, we are uh, now developing the uh, Smart Bees Bracelet system. Uh, Smart Bees Bracelet system consists of uh, two components uh, Smart Bees Bracelet itself and uh, Smart Lucky Charm. Uh, the uh, smart bees bracelet uh, is called uh, SBB for short, and uh, smart lucky charm is uh, called uh, SLC for short. Uh, the uh, SBB realizes extensibility and personalization or customization uh, customization uh, by uh, rearranging uh, bees. Uh, SLC provides um, input output interfaces uh, from or to cloud. In this paper, uh, we designed a functional model of SBB. Well, uh, next, we describe uh, several related works. Here, uh, we service smart bracelets. First, we usually use smart watch, such as Apple Watch. Uh, smart watches contain major technical functions. These functions are uh, predefined and enough, but not extensible. A smart watch uh, cooperates with a smartphone. However, editors are not familiar with smartphones, so smart watches are not suited for elders. Second, Danny Burnside designed Bangu. Bangu is smart bracelet using flexible OLED. Uh, flexible OLED is uh, used in portable uh, smartphones. The Bangu is uh, entirely covered with OLED. 
uh, bagel can change all the design. Therefore, the bagel is customizable, but not extensible. Third, uh, just a fourth man et al. Uh, create tangible apps bracelet, which is multiple purpose uh, smart digital jewelry. The user can attach his or her uh, favorite module uh, to the bracelet, so it may be extensible. Why maybe? We do not confirm to extend the modules. However, uh, we think that it is easy to extend the bracelet. Next, we introduce Mr. Architecture as a, a related work. Uh, Mr. Architecture is an architecture for Mr. Computing. Mr. is a simplified fog. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Computer, uh, computing is the uh, subset of uh, fog computing because uh, it is based on Mr. Architecture. In Mr. Architecture, uh, there are three tiers, Cloud, Mist, and Droplet. Uh, droplet is IoT device in field area network. And Mist is a Hog or a Crowdlet in local area network. Crowdlet is a small cloud uh, near devices. Uh, uh, local area network is uh, protected uh, by firewall, so MIST can access the cloud di uh, easily, directly. But the uh, cloud cannot access MIST uh, directly, so uh, NAT traversal is required. Uh, cloud and MIST support uh, NAT traversal in MIST architecture. In this way, uh, droplets are fully uh, managed by a cloud. Next, uh, we introduce metabolic architecture. Uh, metabolic architecture is suited for uh, sustainable computing. Uh, sustainable computing is uh, computing for uh, sustainability development or uh, sustainability for uh, computing. Uh, this figure shows the uh, concept of metabolic architecture. Uh, in metabolic architecture, uh, each component will be replaced uh, periodically without any fault. All the components are replaced with uh, new components anytime. Well, uh, this is similar to uh, the metabolism of an organism. Uh, therefore, we call it uh, metabolic architecture. In a sense, uh, Smart Bees bracelet is uh, based on metabolic architecture because its components, bees, uh, can be uh, replaced. So, uh, Smart Bees bracelet uh, should be uh, deconfigurable. Next, uh, this figure shows the uh, overview of SBB and SLC. A user wears the uh, SBB on his arm. SBB consists of 8 bees. Each bees has a special function, for example, uh, body temperature, uh, heart rate, uh, GPS, and so on. SBB is a droplet in Mr. Architecture. Uh, SBB has no user interface, basically, uh, but uh, SLC has it. A user controls SBB using SLC as a remote controller. SLC is a, a MIST in MIST architecture. SBB measures user health data and aggregates the data in the uh, cloud via SLC. Here, uh, we explain the concept model of SBB. The bees are uh, 25 mm square. Uh, we employ EPS32, the smallest CPU. Uh, the size of EPS32 uh, breakout board is uh, 25 mm. The bead size of bead bracelets is about uh, 10 mm to uh, 
20 millimeter. So uh, this bead size of SBB is larger than the uh, traditional bead bracelet. So uh, hence spare copies are placed on the uh, band of uh, series of scales. Uh, there are eight beads in SBB. Each bead has a function. The uh, individual beads are bound by ITC bars. Uh, the uh, band constitutes the uh, ITC bars. Uh, beads can be replaced one by one. This figure shows the uh, base band of SBB. Uh, the top view, side view, and bottom views are arranged uh, in order from the top. Uh, ITC uses four lines, including two dead lines. Uh, each ITC device has a unique address. However, uh, the same device uh, has the uh, same address. So uh, their addresses are uh, conflicted. In order to avoid such conflicts, SBB uses a three-layered identification. Uh, first layer is uh, ITC hub address. Uh, second layer is the port, uh, port number. Uh, the third layer is the uh, device number, uh, device address. Indeed, uh, the number of devices connected by ITC is uh, depended on the uh, ITC chip. In this figure, ITC has uh, have a, a chain. And the uh, chain ITC have has uh, two addresses. For example, the last device is addressed by two steps. Uh, first address is uh, 17.4.71. Uh, second address is uh, 71.3.8. Eight is dependent on the device. In this way, uh, a device uh, can be addressed. Here, uh, we show a uniform design of the base plate. A bead uh, is assembled on this base plate. Uh, the order of beads uh, can be changed, uh, so the uh, base plate connector should be uniformed. A bead uses four terminals at the uh, top of the uh, left side. Uh, the other terminals are passed uh, to the next base plate. Each line data, uh, each data line is uh, shifted. In this figure, uh, it looks like the uh, 18 terminals are uh, lined in uh, two vertical lines. Uh, however, uh, in the actual base plate, uh, nine terminals are lined on both sides. Uh, the first line shows front side terminals, and the uh, second line shows uh, back side terminals. Uh, this figure shows uh, both sides of the base plate, uh, the front view and back view. Uh, in this way, uh, there are only nine terminals in one side of the uh, actual base plate. Uh, this is because uh, the width of the base plate is uh, 25 mm and the terminal pitch is uh, 2.54 mm. Well, uh, this figure shows the software architecture of SBB and SLC. Uh, the concept model is on the side, on the left. Uh, the function model is in the center. Uh, each bead uh, class is lying on the right. Uh, as you know, uh, M5 stack is compatible with Arduino. Uh, 
An Arduino software uh, basically consists of two functions, uh, setup and loop. Uh, setup function initializes data. Uh, loop function repeats a uh, particular processing. Uh, in addition, we add uh, menu function in order to support interactive operations. A bit class has uh, these three functions. Here, sense function is corresponding to, to the loop function in Arduino. In function mo functional model, uh, SPB and SLC are mixed into uh, the prototype system. In future, uh, we will make SPB and SLC uh, separately. Uh, at that time, the uh, conceptual model will be realized. However, uh, in this paper, uh, we realize uh, only uh, the functional model. Uh, so, uh, the ideal conceptual model is not implemented yet. Here we evaluate the functional model of SVB. Uh, we have four requirements for uh, SVB multi purpose, uh, personalization, uh, reconfigurability, and extensibility. SVB can be uh, customized uh, by exchange uh, different PDs, uh, therefore, uh, it is multi purpose. Uh, SVB can be customized according to user preferences. Uh, therefore, uh, it can be uh, personalized. Uh, SPB can connect the bees in any order, and SPB works correctly. Uh, therefore, uh, it is uh, reconfigurable. Uh, SPB should work properly with uh, new bees attached. Uh, however, uh, it has not been deployed yet. Of course, when new uh, Beats class is installed, uh, it works well, uh, but uh, we have not defined how to install new Beats class, so this is a uh, future work. Here we summarized uh, conclusions. Uh, in this paper, we propose a smart Beats bracelet. Uh, SBB uh, called for short. Uh, we designed the system architecture of SBB, especially uh, package design and software architecture. Uh, we have implemented uh, the functional model of SBB using uh, M5 stack. Uh, it satisfies uh, three of four requirements. Finally, uh, we introduce uh, feature works. Uh, first, uh, implementation of bees. Uh, the bees packages will be created using 3D printers. And uh, second, uh, implementation of Smart Rocky Charm SLC. Uh, SLC connects to SBB and Cloud via uh, network. Uh, SLC remotely Group, uh, controls uh, SBB. Thank you for your attention.